In this lesson, I'm going to address tabs, uh, bullets, and numbering. Um, these three things uh, may not seem to have much in common. However, uh, in my humble opinion, they have something in common in the sense that they're all m quite a bit weaker in Publisher than they would be in Word. So you may uh, expect them to be uh, just as powerful as they were in Word. They're not. Let's just start with tabs. Um, I've got a, a one column item here and let's say that I wanted to set a, a right tab. Now left tab it's just the same every half inch when you hit your tab key you, you, you go to the next half inch. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. If I turn my show height on I see that it's stopping every half inch. Um, if I want to set a center tab or a right tab I, I can't change the style of tab from clicking on this button the way that I would in Word. So if I want to set a different tab I need to go to format tabs and from here I can ask for a right tab. Now I'm going to want the right tab at about you know, it looks like five and a quarter inches here so I'll have to say that I want a right tab and I'll have to say that down here that I want it at 5.25 and if I want a leader tab or a line tab I'd be able to ask for that or a dot tab a dot leader so now I can hit set and hit OK and now I've set that tab there and if, if I find that it's not where I want at least I could move it I believe from here uh, actually it's not allowing me to move it either so I would have to go back to that setting so I guess I could probably double click and get that menu yes and just ask for uh, five point maybe three and set that and maybe clear the first one and hit OK. So that's closer to where I would want it and then I can tab over and then whatever I type will go to the okay go towards the right so business is in business for cougars and then I didn't really think this out as far as what I wanted to type but um, I could maybe put a date here right and because it's a right tab whatever I type is going towards the left so a little bit tougher to set tabs not quite as many options as we do in Microsoft Word but it is very possible to set a right tab and a center tab you just have to go to the menu I'm going to delete this uh, this data so that I can introduce the next lesson which is just on bullets and numbering now um, numbering specifically so I'm going to zoom in here because that's really small uh, so I can start a list here so um, I'll just say things I like about summer and then when I ask for a number nice and easy the number comes up so I can say uh, warm weather uh, water sports now here's what I don't like is when I hit enter here I'm accustomed to being able to tab in and getting a sub list right you don't have that option here right so if you wanted 3a um, I'm not sure what you do to be honest I've tried a, a variety of things and, and they're just not available I've even tried copying and pasting from Microsoft Word uh, the numbering goes away so uh, unfortunately we don't have the great amount of uh, options that we had in Word as far as uh, a layered number uh, um, uh, of, of numbered objects let's say same thing with bullets so I might actually have to do a bullet here and indent it and then here I'd be able to say let's say swimming and surfing and then here I turn off my bullets go back to number and then maybe go back here unfortunately it's not it's not uh, asking me even if I would like to restart or whether I would like to continue where I was. What I'd have to do is go to format bullets and numbering and for this particular list I would have to say start at 3 and hit OK. So I'm kind of tricking it into building me a decent looking numbered or bulleted list so just be aware uh, of that um, that feature in Publisher uh, that it's just not as good as it is in Word. So tabs, bullets and numbers, you can use them, they're there, uh, just not all the bells and whistles that you may be accustomed to. <laughs>